this one was half the price of this one. This one sells for around $14 and this one is $7.99. So I'm like doing the math in my head like, hmm, this is a better deal. welcome or welcome back to another video um this one is going to be kind of random because it's kind of just like you know spur of the moment type idea that i had but basically since i've moved also forgive me for the lighting and forgive me for just like i'm gonna be switching around where i film probably to see what i like the best but um yeah also i want the roses in the background because aesthetic so anyways like i said i'm gonna be switching around like how i film and stuff to kind of just see which lighting i like the best now that I'm in a new place, I have to like get to know it, you know what I mean? So forgive me for that. But basically, Ginger is strong. Basically, I want to show you guys what I've been picking up for my hair and stuff from the local beauty supply and from the pharmacy because I managed to kind of like get myself a couple of items and I feel like it's enough to classify as a haul. So think of this as like a beauty supply store haul. And yeah, period. Let's just get into it. So the first product that I have for you guys is this Frizz Buster from Fantasia. It looks like this. Um, it's purple and it's supposed to straighten, smooth, moisturize, and shine your hair. Eliminates dry, frizzy, damaged hair. Y'all know my hair journey. I mean, I haven't made like an official video on it, but I've definitely touched on it in a couple of videos. My hair is extremely damaged from when I, not when I bleached it. The bleach didn't kill my hair. The red killed my hair. So... My hair is still recovering from that, hence the new hair journey that I'm on. Um, but I got this Frizz Buster because my friend recommended it to me. She said it's one of her favorite products right now. And the way that she was talking about it just made me excited. You know what I mean? It made me excited. Made me want to try it for myself. And if I like it a lot, I'm going to show you guys. Um, I'm going to like tell you guys. But basically, also yesterday, just a side note, I was going to like braid my hair like do cornrows i wanted to do six cornrows going back just so i could take it out and kind of have like the twisty little loose curls kind of deal going on but clearly it didn't work out because i'm wearing a ponytail today but that's besides the point <laughs> that was the intention i had when i bought this and yeah i like it it smells good it smells like it smells kind of fruity and i literally only picked it up because my friend told me to and you know she knows what's best so i'll let you guys know if i like it <laughs> The next thing that I got from, these are items that I got at the pharmacy in like the hair section and then I'm going to show you guys what I got at the beauty supply store. So, the next item that I got in the pharmacy is these rubber bands. It is a 300 count pack of large black rubber bands and it kind of looks like this. Um, and yeah, I was basically for rubber bands to kind of like be the ends to my braids that I was going to do that I did but they didn't come out good but that's another story um but you also always need rubber bands i also like doing this hairstyle where um it's kind of like the crisscross pattern on the top and then you kind of feed it into a ponytail and stuff um i did it on my instagram if you want to go check that out but i'm gonna try that again with black rubber bands this time because the first time that i did it i did pink rubber bands so i'm gonna try it with black rubber bands and see how i like it um i think it's a really cute hairstyle so i'm gonna be doing these again and that's why i picked it up but now that i know there's a beauty supply store nearby i'm going to be going there instead because you can buy things in bulk so yeah i got this got that um hair oil kind of thing and there was one more item that i got oh yeah i got this instant freeze mousse from aussie um it's the instant freeze mousse 24 hour maximum hold with australian hobo oil and sea kelp and out of four it's a three so it's pretty strong and again i had gotten this because i was going to do braids and that the idea was to put this in my hair along with the oil braid and then within a day's time when I took it out it would have been like a nice loose curl situation but that didn't work out but it's okay because I ended up using it today on this um, extension ponytail. You see how it kind of like defines the curls. Yeah, I think this is going to be put to use so it's no problem but that was the intention that I had when I bought it was to do my braids with it but it's fine. I love Aussie's products um, and now I have some mousse for whenever I might need it. On to the beauty supply store haul, what y'all here came to see. I got the olive oil hold and shine wrap set mousse infused with coconut oil and y'all i've had my eye on this product for a long time because originally when i went to the pharmacy yesterday i was trying to get this item and not this one but this is all they had so i picked it up but basically like this mousse is known to like dry really fast so like a problem a, a problem a problem that i've had with um 
doing styles that you kind of need to like set your hair with has been that when I take out the style like bantu knots or like braids overnight braids or whatever my hair is still kind of wet so it's always been a problem for me so now that I know this one dries fast I kind of want to try doing hairstyles with this product instead and more specifically what I want to try with this hair product um, I want to this isn't the next thing that I got from the beauty supply store It is the 10 pack satin foam rollers from the brand Diane. It looks like this, they're nice and purple. And um, I basically have 40 because it's 10 pack. And I wanna try and put this all over my hair, right? Set them with the satin rollers all over my hair and then see if I put it in all night and supposedly, supposedly they are comfortable for sleeping. So I wanna try and leave it overnight possibly and see if the next day my curls are like really nice and defined because I am trying to like get into um, no heat hairstyles and stuff like that. So I'll try that and see if I like it and let you guys know what's up. But another thing is that I actually have tried these before like a long time ago, probably like 2016. 2017 vibes and I remember I used them in the front of my hair and they held all day and they were like really nice soft bouncy curls that were more like ringlets instead of like um the instead of like tight tight curls that I have right now so I really liked how it changed my um curl pattern and I wanted to see if maybe I could try it all over my head so I'll let you guys know how that works out I'll probably use this oil too but yeah, if you want to see a video, if you want to see how that comes out and you want to see me doing it in real time, then let me know in the comments down below and I'll gladly do that for y'all. So yeah, from the beauty supply store, I had gotten the mousse from this brand, Ors, and a four pack of um, satin rollers, which I'm going to have to find a place to store because honestly, I have so many products now that they're like all over the place. And you know, y'all know I'm trying to like be less about that clutter life, more about that organized life. So period the next item that i got i'm really excited about because it was the first thing that i saw when i walked into the store and um, it is 100 percent essential oil that is scented with eucalyptus and um just so y'all can see a reference basically this is the size that i normally get this is from target and then this is the size that they sold and this one was half the price of this one this one sells for around 14 dollars and this one is 7.99 so i'm like doing the math in my head like hmm this is a better deal so now we shall see if it actually is as good of a scent as the lavender one but if it is then i definitely just found my new plug for essential oils and um, another thing is that i've been blowing lavender essential oil in my room for i feel like too long and i'm ready for a new scent so that was another reason that i wanted to get eucalyptus oil because i love that scent as well um yeah so I feel like there's one more thing I wanted to show you guys. Let me think. Oh yeah, and then the last thing that I got from the beauty supply store is just this hard brush. It's purple, and I think it was really cute. Um, there was like a deal where you can get like four for a dollar or something, but I just got one because mysteriously my hair brushes have vanished in this new place, so I basically have to like restock my brushes because I can't find them anywhere and even to this day I'm still thinking like where did I possibly put them? I know they're here and I also can't find my Fenty um, sneakers which is like crazy so I hope I find those too. Maybe I left it at my old house but anyways that's a mystery and I had to pick this up because there's no way I can style my hair without a hard brush. It's just not happening. Even for the 20 tail today was a struggle. I had to like you know just put my gel but basically i use it for like all of my tight hairstyles to kind of like make my hair nice and smooth and laid and even sometimes for my edges and stuff but um yeah so basically i just wanted to show you guys what i got from the beauty supply store slash pharmacy for my hair because y'all know i'm really into hair care and that is about it um it was a really short video but if you guys like what you see and you want to see more subscribe to my channel renesita and i will see you guys here soon i'm here twice a week and now that i have so much time on my hands i might even be here more than that so period and um also another thing let me know if you want to see basically like a tour of all of my hair stuff because i have a lot of hair stuff i'm realizing and people do like makeup tours makeup room tours and stuff but me i have a lot of hair stuff so let me know if you want to see like a hair product tour kind of thing where i just show you guys all my shit um if you want to see that let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in that kind of thing but yeah guys i'll catch y'all later have a great amazing beautiful wonderful fantastic day do y'all love it here or do y'all love it here